Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. And I'm going to get started in a little bit. And uh, the first topic I want to talk about is uh, where the president was saying, you know, I'm not even going to, to say what, uh, what he said, but I'm just going to play the video. I'm going to play the video of what the president said so you can hear for yourselves. I don't want to be accused of lying. So let me play the video now. Okay, so this is a video um, of the current president. I think he was in Mamba speaking in Tonga at a rally. And uh, uh, for me, I find uh, the language very unprofessional. You know, like I can translate. I think it will be the first part of the video is even more uh, is like hard to take. The language used is unpalatable, like let me just play and then i'll be i'll be i'll be i'll be saying it in a, in um in Eng, in english or in bemba let me play it <laughs> So he's saying, do you want to go back to being beaten? That's what he's saying. So the president is asking the crowd to say, do you want to go back to being beaten? Imagine eh, a president yabo. I'll be translating. A 
ati nani winga mfunya pachi puna pa imwe kutibu ni imwe kutibu na ni nani winga mifunya pachi puna narika mbatira narika guru pachi puna pa narika mbatira ati limbi mbushe imwe mwole sumi ino kumifunya pachi puna muambio kula lopolu wana futi Elo bale ya suka Mule Yesu mina imu oku mifunya pachi puna Mwambi oku lalo pula na futi Ati nga mwasu mina oku welela mwukuri ya Oko mwale umwa ime mweba ume ni shita mudiba ume. Na la mifula matorosha yo mfuele ndepe laba na mayo. Ati mie nyama goko. Balanda ati. Ule fo kuwela mkuli ya lebwele la mo ime mweba ume. Na la mifula matorosha mpe laba na mayo. Elo baisa mbo. Kukusha nombachu ule ufuwa kumufule toroshi emi oku moko Abantu nomba mwili ya mkraud Mbambo kula ikusha abantu Atu ule ufuwa kumufule toroshi ule ufuwa alibwele la po Uwa kasumina chaka bwelele po Emi oku moko Elonga emi oku moko nka mufule toroshi Nwa kupela vana mayo e toroshi So, Elia Shirio, so, uh, in short, Balanda T, Avare Foku, where it up, Pokuri, I did where it up, Mueva Ume, Namuiva Ume, Mulefo, Mulelanda, Mulefo, where it up, to Kamifura, Matosh, Ero Matosh, to Kapeleva, and Amai. Ero, if ever you don't hear, let that translate number, because Valanda Muchitong, Muchitong, Ero Valanda T, Imwe, Eva, you. Don't worry, like I'm a Zambian. Quite what? I'm a pachi puna to collect a free education by Pshana. I want to collect none. I want to most of the Sambira. I want to Yes, yes, yes. So that is a video, guys. But uh, the, the highlight of that video is where the, the president is saying that uh, he's glued to the chair, no one can remove him. And he's also saying that all the people, the men who are saying they are going to Arebuere Rapo, is Wakabafula Matoroshi, Wakapereba Namayo, you know. For me, I think the, the, the president's message is campaigning already. That is a campaign mode. But when other political parties want to campaign, the police always says they don't have enough manpower. Meanwhile, they are training police officers every day. So I think if the president Haka engaged them again campaign in full force, then he should allow other presidents to campaign as well from other political parties. That is number one. Number two, the language that the president is using is very unpresidential. Language where they is unpalatable. And he's saying that no one will remove him from the chair. He has sat on the chair with his two bums. Tulela ndefe ba lela nda moto kunjwa chinde ba tu kana aveni at repeat what you are saying in the recording. I'll put the link on here so that you can watch it. Here I'll put what he was saying so that you can watch it. But I can uh, play it again. <laughs> Ati mulefo kuwele la momukula miuma Efo balebe pushu 
Atibale mire pachare bwere la po akeka la pesa na rika la kale na matako ya bili na dibika po na glue Badi vika glu pa pachipu na badi la badi kambatila badi kambatila mata koyonse yobiro pachipu na badi efu badi landa ati tapalu kaba funya but you know this topic okay it's very unfortunate that the president can talk like that you know the language is there itself is not presidential I am just like okay I don't even know to say to Arufianya, but I can just say that uh, the president can use better language. He can find uh, rec uh, yeah, the president can find better language to express what he's saying. He is already in campaign mode, but as political parties, we are not being allowed to campaign. You know. But the language itself leaves much to be desired. Mama, nimichita ad. Nimichita ad. I need to my invitation for you to, to join. So that is the whole, that, that is where the whole story coming from. I think you can remember that. Oko balelande, fufia amata kuya dikamba chira pachipuna na nuka mfunya pachipuna. And the, the, you know, for for me, the topic on na nuka mfunya pachipuna, tapari uka mfunya pachipuna. I just want to tell the president that the president is not God. You never know, and in life, no one is indispensable or invincible. You know, there were people who were on that chair before him, and there will be people after him. He's not the first president. You know, he's not the first president of Zambia, and he won't be the last. So I, I think that what we are, what I'm saying is, you know, the the tone and the language of the president really it leaves much to be desired. Yes, it leaves much to be desired. So that is that. Um, you know, I think. He, he needs to speak professionally as a president. That's 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 I, what I can advise him on uh, that. Then uh, we can move on to the next topic. Uh, uh, the president says uh, he's not going to attend the SADC meeting. The president and says he's not going to attend uh, the SADC meeting. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, my daughter. Hi, hi, hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm very, very fine. Thank you. How are my grandchildren? They are all fine. We thank God. <laughs> well, thank you for everything that you are doing, being a mother and sparing time to talk about what is happening in Zambia. It's not easy. Therefore, no, it's not. Yeah. Not at all. I know. Munshan, <clears throat> the topic na itangira fe pakat. Alamwande ni tuwa furungana. Ama topic in kwete. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, 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 the topic uh, where the, the president is saying 53,000 is, mm -hmm. is, uh, is not a lot of money for a civil servant. I haven't okay. tackled that, which is his pay. And then uh, he's also the video which I was just playing, where he's saying that. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
and uh, I just played that video. I don't know if you have seen that video. I've seen it. I think I've posted uh, on my page as well. Yeah, so I was just commenting on that and they translating into Bemba. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is very unprofessional. You know, mm -hmm. it is very, the, the language is unpalatable. Mm -hmm. The president is campaigning in full mode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's not giving that chance to ask the opposition to campaign. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and then uh, my other top, my other topic is like he's not he he's uh he's not going to Sadek, and I just wanted to hear from the citizens what they feel about creating this tension with our neighbors. Because last uh, is it last is week? That's that for real. That is not going to Sadek. Is that for real? Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah, ba. So, kusade kitabale ya. Hello, kukongo border. If you are following, kukongo border. What is the border? The last two, um, I think two weeks ago. I don't know. The border was closed there for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you, you know, these are the things. I don't know. Maybe we can go step by step. I just spoke myself about uh, him talking about his, his bums. We can say bums. Can you ever land? No, not even just a bum. Say a matter for you. Say a matter for you. That's what he said. Use the language that he's using. I know. So, I don't know if I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to go to the other side. Mata wabo I want to use the language that is using at Mata wabo means what? Yes, at a matter of a matter of Pando. Let me get a charger. My, my battery is low. Go ahead. Let me plug the oh, one thing you need to ask. Okay, uh, again, we can even ask him. The thing is, at who from Chinji Komuin, you know, at first when they were campaigning, campaigning in um, um, has the video been paused? Hello, can you hear me? Seems the video has been posted on Queen I'm trying to plug in the power. Oh, your video, I think, I think, why is what ninja is up as well? Ah, 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 if you have any power, I'm looking for the power. Just go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, what we need to realize as Zambians, this is who he is. Okay. You know, you can only hide your personality for so long. And at the end of the day, that personality will eventually come out, especially if you are pretending. So one thing we need to realize as Zambians is the fact that in opposition, this man used to insult and we took it as a joke. We thought, oh, maybe it's campaign mode or it's, it's, you know, he's campaigning and whatnot. So we never really paid that much attention. You know, this is not the first time. It's not the second time. You know, he's even he uses vulgar language in front of the chiefs. So if you go back, he once said, oh, now so which color, things like that. At that time, we thought, ah, my campaign, we forgot about those things. But you know, when you become a president, even those that didn't vote for you, you are a president for even those that criticizes you. You are the president of a nation. Arabi used to call himself to say, president for all Zambians. And this is where, you know, the, 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 the conflict or the, you know, the hypocrisy, sorry, that comes in where 
on one side you are dividing on the other hand you are, you are pretending and thinking to say oh oh we are uniting the nation you know what oh pf this pf that for three years for crying out loud three years it has been ed galungu pf ed galungu pf ed galungu and now it has reached a point where now the disrespect towards uh, the former head of state has become like it's it's an order of the day that's why today you know we're not surprised after hearing what he said and you know the funny thing is I don't know if he goes to Southern Province to pretend or to think that we're not going to understand or like those people in Southern Province. Mama, let's see what I ask. Okay. Those in Southern Province want to, are happy with what he's saying and want to translate to the things that he's actually saying. You know? That's one thing people forget. Me personally I'm Bemba, but I've started learning Tonga and I'm ha I'm I cannot can hear some of the words in Tonga that he's saying, you know. It's you 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 get shocked, you know? If you have when it's in Southern province, you you can tell to say Balasamwa and then he, he says things in the language hoping that people won't understand. In one way, he's inciting uh, my sisters in uh, in the south and my brothers in the south. He's inciting them. On the other hand, he comes Kurusaka. He starts pretending to say he's uniting the nation. And you see, we are forced now, personally as a member, I'm forced to start learning Tonga because I want to understand what this president is saying. You know. So I am learning Tonga, and and believe you me, some of the ways that he said. Those that were not deep, I could get what he was saying in in that in in that audio. You know, this is forced us to start learning Tonga, which is not a bad thing. But because of the way he behaves when he is in Southern Province, it's very uncalled for. Bushu kunchi, ewo ba HH ba umfuide, ECL, you know, insulting him in public and what not, what not. You know, left, right, and say. Enter, President Akainde Ichema doesn't seize an opportunity to insult the former head of state. Now you see, if you look back, Kudakuri Badek, mm. those boys that were insulting, did he condemn that? Mm -hmm. No, he did not. Now get this video that you are showing us. How, how can you conclude? We can definitely 100% conclude to say those boys were sent to go and insult the former head of state. To Today, if one who supports the opposition in South, you find that you here, you are being demeaned, you are being insulted, you are not respected, and you think that they would crack down on that. They wouldn't. They let them, their people in South. Me, I'm a victim. Everybody else who's like on the opposite side is a victim of the insults and the bad language. So you you will see that it is their method of operation. This is what they have instilled in themselves and their supporters. This is who they are. They are people that lack lack respect towards another fellow human being. You cannot engage with them in dialogue or in debatable issues. They, they will call you names. They will call you prostitute. They will call you a slay queen. All those things, you know. But at the end of the day, if we try to reciproc reciprocate what they are saying, You'll find that you'll be arrested, you'll be caught, you'll say, oh, it's hate speech, all those things, you know. So, so where is the unity, you know? If there's one person that is dividing this nation, or has divided this nation, is the president himself. President Akainde Ishima, for the past three years, what has he been doing? Issuing divisive remarks as that, blaming the previous government, and the... Take it, and the only thing he takes credit for is the things that makes him look good. Even though it was done by the previous, it doesn't give credit to those to those who were in the previous regime. But again, you 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 wonder what message are we sending out there to the young ones? That's why you find today, Muzambia, why? Because the head of state himself is. A figure of insultants, you know, is a figure of insultants, and is promoting it, you know. 
Mama, you are like my mother, right? Obviously, some of your daughters are older than, uh, are the same age as me. Mm -hmm. There is absolutely no way a younger person, some people are younger than me that come to insult you, you know? And they think it is normal. It is not normal. Hmm? That's why I name for food today because today is Shamika. You know, I can't quite walk. I know, I know. And President Longo, in as much as President Aka in the is president today, is well older than President Aka in the It's about what? I think he's uh, five, five years older or seven years older than him. Imagine that long time ago. Do you want to come, Karamba? Eh? We, and we need just to respect each other. Exactly. The, 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 they just need to talk about his policies, yes. how he intends to take Zambia out of poverty. It is, yes. If and the long wants to wear it up, how is that a problem of of our kind? Emma, it's not even that when as Ed Galungu said, he never could wear it up. It is us the people you know, that are can saying, it be in a, wear it up. But I'm saying we, we want Ed Galungu to wear it up. No, but how can they, that be a problem of a church? Hmm. Because the same people gave a church the vote. And you see, a church wants respect. Respect is end. At the end of the day, he will be the most abused president or former head of state when he leaves state house, eh? Because of why? Of the president that they have set. I mean, why you being? If they respect the former head of state, if they respect the office of the former head of state, even his office would be respected. Now, them they want respect. At the end, but on uh, the other side, they are disrespecting people. But even if now, they thrive on vulgarity. Hmm? So now, we can afford to allow to allow to allow Zambia to finish. So, yeah, Zambia, we can allow Zambia to end it. So, so anyway, so on the insults, that is that is like we're just pleading with the president to tone down and use language which is palatable. He's a public figure, he's a president, he's speaking to the masses. What example is he setting the country? Epo nava eche wale tutuka nina nomba ine nana kwa kutuka na. Inse renga shirepa ine nga narifuwa. You know? We are mm. insulted day and night. We are threatened day and night. Zambia police mm. is doing nothing. And let mm. Zambia police let any let me insult a, a praise singer. Look at what is happening to President Savoy in Boyer. Mm. Just a few words here where they can settle the matter out mm. of court. They are dragging Savoy in Boyela through the court let Let's right and center. Yes. But how many people in the other camp are violating other people and going away scot free? That's the selective justice that we keep on talking about. Exactly, exactly. We are in we are in problems, and you know the thing is, it's just that in Africa. I don't want to say, you know, like um, I'm kind of on him so bad, but in Africa, we kind of tend to take certain, um, like, you know, like mental, mental illness, like really, really like, like, <laughs> you know, but if you, look, you know, some of these people, they need to be diagnosed. Exactly. And for me, I think at the uh, uh, president will start taking you for mental checkup before we vote for you at this at, at this point because you see that's the highest office in the country and you cannot have an head of state behaving like a cabova. No, 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 no. no. Mm. Mm. You he was even touching. He was touching them. You saw the video you are playing. He touched them. Mm. Oh, Mwandini, Champions League, yeah, Shupa. <laughs> 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 ah.
Na isu pa Champions League. Mm -hmm. So number imagine how the country could be if the northern has now one boku to Kana, the eastern has now one boku to Kana, the western has one boku to Kana, the northwestern has now one boku to Kana. Yes. Chana bacharo. Because it was in Ghana, we now see why we are video to 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 clap back. If I don't, mm -hmm. if I don't like the rice, but we thank God we are in Ghana. We are not singing the solo to practice some of our regular churches. Okay, you know, mm. but mm. but a provocative behavior. Yes, by H H Monday is but we are provocative. Is very and you know he keeps on provoking because look, here is a man going yeah. after a man's wife imagine right? in sure as if that's not enough he goes for his children imagine as if that's not, not enough he now goes for his mother mm -hmm. and we don't know if the mother is late or the mother is alive who's my mother now is it not his serious mother it's not what he said really? those in insults uh, where there is a clip where he said they are like the, not just that if you finish it there's a vanina ba ba something like that uh, vanina yes vanina yes yes so this is the weekly hs thinks it's strong you know but if you look at that in a, in a, for me as an analyst i look at that video and i see how weak he has become because you know if, if you're not weak and you keep on uh, throwing your opponent, your political opponent, another political opponent, Takuwe is a chef, Yolanda. You become as weak, as fragile, and you think by poking or by, you know, you know, to Allah to respond. That's your weakness. That's a coward way of doing things, you know. The only way HH can beat Edgar Lungo is by performing. It's by that's the only way out he won't even need to say a word he won't even need to mention pf if he performs he fulfills his promises just say why should we even go back to pf gande just three times a day nde sarula nit nara wele raku kumarushi but basa sangache dama rushi waru kidama zambia ziyawa kogu inu because bad kwe tefi yaku dia marefe kwa tiwa waru kanoku Mwamona. That's the only way you can beat is to outdo the works that Edgar Lungu did. But you know, because you have failed, you cannot keep on saying Azamba Kutimen every time you go south, is that not inside? Yes. And but every Edgar time is in Southern Province. Yes, yeah. but Edgar Lungu has repeated to say we made mistakes and mm -hmm. we are not going to do what happened he has learned from his mistakes how many times is that bushen does but hh does he watch right galungo for balelanda where balungo balelanda he has learned from his mistakes hmm? you can't continue he, beating a man when he's down it's not, not even that if you yes. look if you look at what is happening right now i'm reading that the pf person was stabbed to death well so does those people lives don't matter and if we continuously talk about the same people that we had lost because they were in support of us and that's not uniting and i all constantly ask about what has this government done for those people that died you keep on using their names in your political discourse but what have you done for their families they keep on compensating themselves what have they done for those people they mention every day nothing they just use them they write and how can we move forward if all we do is dwell in the for in the past i know but edgar lungu is down but edgar lungu i think is the most humble president ever because he realized to say you know like we Zambians should count ourselves lucky because but edgar lungu could have been quiet and he could have lived peacefully but he came back to the political scene to say uh, they are persecuting my family and Zambians, but now the situation is bad and he's the only one whom bahaka interferes everybody else is compromised and all these people in opposition are payroll. So we are clear you we can safely say that he, mm -hmm. he's he has sleepless nights towards his because every time he's talking, who does he talk about? Hmm? 
it's easy yeah so clearly he, he gives them he's a man that he really is scared of but like i always say in my live videos that same man is a man that can get him out of this hole that he has dug himself in you know but he has chosen to fight him mm. instead of working with him which is mm. unfortunate and which comes to the question to say does the hh really care about zambians because if HH cared about Zambians, then he would have gone to ECL and, and uh, get advice to help uh, the problems with the problems we are facing now. But instead, on one end, here you are, and this is the hypocrisy. Recently, by the Kwete at HH conference. Here you are, you are saying, no, I will talk to ECL himself, or, you know, we are talking of reconciliation, eh? Here, on one end, you are talking of reconciliation, on the other end, you are insulting the man. It is fake. Yeah, reconciliation, I think he was pressured. Because if you want to reconcile with someone, why do you continue mentioning the past? Zambia is a de democracy, people. Let us learn to respect our democracy. Let us, and the Zambians, we must know our rights. Like he, I was talking yesterday to say, there is a video which I, which I did on TikTok and it has gone viral. And all the praise singers are, arrest her, arrest, arrest me for what? For <laughs> you know? Mm. So no Zambia mm. and what is on your mind, arrest her. But it is okay for some people to insult. Starting from the president himself is insulting. Not praising at our toes at what he called Kamunsedi. What do you expect? No, 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 Eh, ala mwandi ni. Edi ashi. Yo so no mba tu alanda pansere to switching gears. No mba tu ya mkula anda pari. Bachila ilisha nye wa president. Wa alanda tawe. Mu government ta mwave mpia. Ine mfula pe 53,000. Eyo mkula. That is my salary. So when I saw that, I'm like, okay. Myself personally. Now remember my background is I'm a human resources professional. I've worked in HR and specifically I've worked in compensation where we, we structure people's pay. And when you are structuring salary amuntu, you don't actually look at the take-home pay. You look at many other benefits which the person is actually taking home. So for example, like if you are structuring a compensation pay for an executive officer, you look at things like a, a, you know allowances car allowance housing allowance uh, transport allowance whatever education allowance medical allowance all those they are factored into the total pay of somebody so for example for example on one note that 53,000 that's one aspect of the pay he has other numerous allowances and benefits that go with that and also the things like uh, travel, all that security, all those are benefits which the president gets. I'm, I'm, I hear who Zambia is the, the top government officials, they even, they don't buy food. They don't actually get uh, an allowance. They have food trucks, deliver food to their homes. Like their food pantry is, a, is, a, is replenished. I don't know if it's weekly or monthly. So for him to complain about 53,000, I find it hypocritical. When in Zambia, some people are taking home as little as a thousand a month. So this is my point. Okay, I wanted to go into detail and talk about all these other benefits. But I'm like, you know what? I won't take the deep dive to analyze the pay of the president. I'll just put it at a shallow level where everyone can understand to say, People are taking home 1,000 a month. So how can you complain? When he is getting 53,000, how does he think the people are surviving our level of 1,000? So it's not even about 
him complaining. You know, Aka in the Ishema, he thinks he's dealing with the people that about the moon 1991, remember? Yako at time yeah, privatization. He thinks that's the generation he's dealing with. I have my other phone here with me. The salary for a president pay is eighteen thousand five hundred and thirty six. That is way below my 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 aim. That's pounds per year, okay? That is below what I earn in it. Mm. Uh, that's the, the 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 salary for a president. That's fine. But if you get that uh, eighteen thousand, um, let me let me say because it says fifty three, right? Yeah. Okay. So if you get that uh, eighteen thousand uh, five hundred and thirty six, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go convert it into kwacha per year, calculator, because you see, another thing is how we mislead, like, um, um, uh, uh, Mwanawasa said, eh? so the current rate, at, at, as we speak, for the, the pound is at 34, mm -hmm. okay? So if we get that salary that is for the president per year, minus everything, I'm just getting that salary for now. So we multiply that by 34, 34 quarter. So it's getting 637,224, uh, that's per year. If you divide that uh, by 12, mm -hmm. eh, his salary is what he has said, okay? Mm -hmm. That is fine. Now, why would we be fighting for 20 years to come and end? Where below what i end you know why why would you spend all that money all that time to come and end 53 because what comes with 53 is the real deal is the tip of the iceberg two thousand dollars a month is the tip of the iceberg there is more what comes with the fifty three thousand is what the real deal is all about. Mm -hmm. That salary waka in the tabai katako no kata it doesn't even know when it goes in Bali, his account. It's nothing. But the allowances, that's where the real deal is. And the lifestyle. The, the life first of all fuel, electricity, fiance everything everything is free yes. you food, yeah, everything food whatever whatever is free it is paid for by the government now comes in the allowances Allow why do you think they move around mm. because even him going at unza he gets an allowance him getting a doctorate today so unza, he gets an allowance wherever the president goes he gets an allowance that's where the money is. But on top of that, the control of the nation, the decision making, that's why people want to be president. Let's not beat around the bush. Because now you have all these minerals at your disposal and your decision. And this is why I argue to say we need to remove some of the powers that the president has in Zambia. And that's where the money is. So you cannot come to us and tell us you earn 53 like we are children. We know where the money is. That is your and they know we got it's pocket change. Mm. No, two thousand. I've been got it. I've been got about the money. Never heard Garungu because my head Garungu gets 80 percent of this 53. So meaning head Garungu would only get about maybe. 40 pin mm. because it's former head of mm. state you've seen so number in that i'm okay shabba oh to what she she will that's why people fight to be president and you know the hypocrisy of that statement uh mm. Chair, is uh he said the people should go into business because government jobs there are no money Mm. Hello, Mr. President. How many years were you in a private sector and then you decided to come in the government sector? Do you, why, why you conquer statement here? Uh, it's misleading. It's it very misleading. He was a businessman in the private sector. Then for 20 years he was fighting to become a president to get a GRZ salary. And now he comes around when people are complaining about salary, 
or I don't know if it's him who was complaining, he turns around and tells people, go and get a job in it. Go for business. That's where the money is. But you are for me business. Why some government? Why some government? Yes. Fooling who? Why, why <laughs> didn't he not say how um, oh, business? Yes. yes. Who is fooling who? Anyway, Zambians wake up. Some of the things we won't say much, we'll just ask questions and maybe any more are Are you there, Chair? Okay, she's on mute. So that's the topic, guys. Um, we uh, talked about, no, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. We talked about the, the, um, the unpalatable language there where the president and the one stuff you know it's just like crazy i'm i'm like am i in a dream or whatever uh mineral mapping okay so alamat if you like cannot be foolish like it's hard to keep up on these topics because there's so much going on you know including uh, I don't know, Chair, if you have talked about this uh, Zambi farm, Chaiwa farm. Kutuwa siwa panapa kwa mbila. Kukenya na kwena, they are celebrating wamba no kulalwa because of the, they got a contract from Zambia. But mm, on the Zambi issue, it's a very detailed and complex issue, something that if you want to talk about it, eh? It's a topic on its own and not like inclusive of other topics. It's quite detailed and um, <clears throat> quite complex. So, um, the other thing I would want, maybe before I go, is about the Munagagwa issue. Okay. Remember when there were elections in Zambia? I think I even said it. Mm -hmm. I said, if you have a it's Zambia. The issue we have with our government is they like diplomatic etiquette. And you know, now we have a situation where Mnagagwa is a chair now. Wow. <laughs> and oh, I, was, I was actually mistaken. I thought he was going to be troika like taking over from hh no he's taking over from the angoran president he's actually going to be sadik um chairman and on the 17th of august just two days so i don't know you are saying that the president is not going there 17th of august it will be there will be 44th uh summit in zimbabwe and here is what proves what I've always been saying to say Zambia is isolated because no because of what because of the things that we have said the things that we have done you know Mulomo. you know it can't first now how are we going to participate in any sadic you know uh, meetings and whatnot how are we going to do that we're supposed to we have to grow some gas and go to Sadiq, but how are we going to do it at the expense of the Zambians? This is a big problem because Munagaga will be there maybe for two years until UPND leaves, and Munagaga would have to send election observers into Zambia. So, what are we doing? Hmm? Where does this leave Zambia? You want to shun 44th summit? Okuka Obama, head of state, the Angolan president will be handing over to Mnagagwa. So, and then our president is saying he's not going. And why is he not going? What's the reason has he given that he's not going? We don't know. We don't know. I just saw my praise singer, you know, praise singer, they are the best people in creating, cooking up excuses. It's like they have a dictionary to answer any, anything they have. A, uh, 
Bazet journalist, can you request to join? I'm trying to find you. I'm going to go because I'm cooking. That's why I didn't put okay, the your voice the picture on. Mama, I know you are yeah. you are total. You are too calm. Uh, um, I appreciate. We should do this more often. We need to join forces. We must unite forces. Yes. Yes, we need to. All right, thank you so much. Hugs and kisses to the babies. Thank you. God bless. God bless. Thanks. Bazet Jenkins, do you follow the page? Uh, if you follow the page, I can see you. But in Shiremi Mona, Bazet Journalist. So, my want to work with this area. We just have more questions every time. We have more questions, no answers. Your question, I have done. Tyler, I think let's go to TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. TikTok, we can chat. It's easy. They are all Facebook. What I became in Galato. So, let's go to TikTok. And there we can have a panel and just discuss. Because even my mama wanted to join, she can't join. I, w I was almost leaving to go, but a uh, uh, chair joined. Yeah. So let us go to... Uh... Hey! <laughs> oh, my God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, how are you? See you long time. <laughs> long time indeed. Long time, long time, long time. This world is on my own. <laughs> I'm telling you, the floor is yours. Me, I've spoken, I've spoken. <laughs> so now she's on Mupando. I'm not going to say I come, but say the Pamupando. <laughs> I don't know from Walanda points is even from much Lancia and Yapo and Finnish Malaysia. Tula and Dre Padia Shia Queba Tamata Koyabo, Natasha translated that video in Tonga where he was saying that his uh, Amatako is glued to the chair, Akeka Pesa. And then we also well um, on that one I heard I heard about it and it's just unfortunate it's very unfortunate and uh, uh, what is unfortunate for me is uh, especially that this is always mostly it is done in the southern province this is very unfortunate I feel very sad I feel very sad. Um, uh, that uh, now the people have uh, quite a complex um, um, attitude towards where the president now is uttering such sentiments. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, I fail to understand why up to now the president doesn't want to, uh, to guide the country as, um, as a leader for 20 million Zambians. President Akande Chilema is a president for 20 million Zambians. And this, I think I can apply, I can appeal to the friends, to our friends in the southern province. You see, it's very sad. I, I feel so sad, my sister. I feel so sad that um, I will, sometimes I was reading and listening to the Zambian National Anthem. The Zambia National Anthem is very clear, very clear and straightforward. Zambia, stand, uh, stand and sing for Zambia, proud and free. Land of joy, uh, land of all, hope and joy in unity. Victors in the struggle for the right. Now, the second phrase, land of hope and joy in unity. Now, if we are so serious about this, the respect of the rule of law, first of all, but also the respect of the flag, my, my sister, uh, Queen Pumi, President, 
you know that here in the in the in the diaspora uh i'm calling from italy in italy the the flag the flag is respected never touch the flag never play with the flag actually the mayors they wear the flag they wear the flag like a scarf here mm -hmm. that's what they wear they don't wear what we have those those necklaces and things like that like our mayors in zambia but the mayor here wears a flag an italian flag which means it's the unity the question the flag is a symbol of identity of the zambian people and unity now if this is not being shown up to today president Ahaka in the Chima is a president for 20 million zambians gentlemen whoever advises the president i don't understand what is happening up to now whether you want it or not president Ahaka in the is a president of ecl is a president of president uh, stumbeko pumulo is a president of Chilu Fiatayali. President Aka Indichilema is a president of Moriokela. He is a president of all of them. All the Zambian people, even a president of all those who are here in the diaspora. Now, gentlemen, well, we are far away from campaign system. One why all these languages i think it's not building the country we have very serious issues in the country uh, president Pumi. we have very serious issues uh lord shedding the minimum which is not there anymore and now the one of the serious uh, problem which has arise in zambia is the, the mapping of the precious resources and minerals and the precious uh, um, well precious minerals in the country today if you have seen Quimpumi, they have flagged in a private uh, small plans who are going around the whole country zambia to map the resources that zambia has now i was asking myself a question excuse me gentlemen these are foreigners whether they come to the, from the uk whether they come from the united states how can you expose a country how 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 can you expose this state? Flying with those small plans, and uh, and this this story has not gone into the parliament. It's a very sensitive. Queen Pumi, any flight that comes into our territory is supposed to be called um, observed, scrutinized by the Zambia um, by the Zambia Air Force. Now. I have understood that is today, starting from today, I don't know when they are going to end. These small plans, already in the copper belt, people have called me and they are saying, you know, Oscar, we have seen this flight and they are flying very low. He says, what are they doing? No, they are finding the resources and the gold and all the precious minerals in Zambia. Where are these guys coming from? Ah, they come from outside the country. I did not sleep when I heard about this. I could not sleep. And where is the law that that really um, guarantees the Zambian people of security? If these people can see what is underneath the house of Mamachika Moneka, how do they guarantee that they are not looking at Mamachika Monika in her house? I'm asking you a question. If these people, they can, can see what is underneath the house of Mamachika Monika, how do they guarantee Mamachika Monika that they are not screening Mamachika Monika and they are not looking through her body? This is a question. It's screening that 
is screaming? You go and see what is down the the rock. The, what about They are looking at Binwa Mpundu's house. Down Binwa Mpundu's house and go and find what is underneath Binwa Mpundu's house. How come, gentlemen? But why? Why exposing the country to this danger? We here we have the right of privacy. I have the right of privacy. No police camera can come and look into my my, my, my room without the police permission. If in Zambia they're looking down down the, the rocks, they are watching the people. We want to work on this. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Shashilala Lelo. On this case. Ah. Then. Katwish. I think. Muchalo. It is very sad. What about. If you feel. If you have. The relations now. With our. Our. Our neighbors. It has never happened. To have problems with Zimbabwe, it has never happened. To have problem problems with DRC, Congo, va Congo, va Congo. To have even for three hours or for one day, our borders closed with Congo. It has never happened. If I talk with a pack of a bill, so Zambia Congo, even a Baba Ba, a Kwale Baba Ba, by Zambia Congo Ba, they are like our Ba and sisters. My goodness, image is she with your and whoever speaks is reported to police. Very dangerous trend, it's very dangerous. Um, you know, it's in the public, it's in the public, it's in uh we cannot use the police to silence the people let the people speak 2021 we are there we were there together do you remember my sister we were campaigning for the freedom of speech <laughs> little, we were campaigning little, for the freedom of expression little, little. vpn what is that what do you call that then we even went there because VPN, yeah. VPN. We didn't want anyone to shut us up. Zambians, what is happening? Why, why keeping the people silent? My goodness, it's very bad. It's very bad. Ah, it will, it will, you know, it's better people are talking and you know their mind yes. than keeping people quiet because it bomb they will fail to believe. For sure. But I said, for sure. Could this happen because no one was talking? Because you didn't give the opportunity for people to talk. <sighs> It's so bad. It's so bad. But you know, on this, on this, is people are afraid to talk. I just want to tell Zambians that uh, in Zambia, we need to have filters in our language. Be politically correct. This is free advice. Me, I've been on the internet for five years, speaking on contentious issues, and uh, not one day have I been called to the police office to police to explain what I say and why? Because we live in America where we are politically correct. Like think before you say anything, don't incriminate yourself. So avoid certain things like mentioning names. And always talk about what is circulating on social media. Don't bring private conversations 
and they see them on, on social media, they will get you. You are going to be sued. So now this is a free advice I am teaching all of you people on social media. We don't have to be quiet. We can talk. But in our discussion, let us talk with what is already on social media. And also let us be politically correct. Don't mention names. Don't say anything incriminating. And the consult people. Because the silence is violence. If we are silent, before we know it, Ishalo Bakasenda, Utotu Mandeko to Ishire, to reach Tenshi Muzambia. Why is the parliament quiet? Why do we have a dead parliament? Why is parliament not questioning these claims that are flying around in the country? You know? Were these the drones approved by the parliament to fly around Zambia? Who made these decisions? These questions are supposed to be asked by by members of parliament, but our member our our parliament has been shut down. It's also very sad. It's very sad that the members of parliament they cannot express themselves, they cannot speak. This is very sad. I'm here, I've never hidden myself. We were against bad things, bad attitudes, bad behaviors. We are still against. Why am I even, I'm still against certain um, bad behaviors up even now under the new Don administration? It's because when, when uh, you to leave the people freedom to speak, the country Zambia is going to benefit. I repeat this. Mwewari government, when you leave the people freedom to speak, the country Zambia will benefit. And who can change the face of the country Zambia? Only the Zambian people first. Everywhere you go to America, American first. Come to Italy, Italy first. Italians first. Go to Germany, Germans first. Go to China, Chinese first. Go to India, Indians first. Why should it be that when we come to Zambia, the Zambians are supposed to be last? No. And when we say these things, we don't hate anyone. We don't hate anyone because if Queen Pumi was going to be president of Zambia and she makes this mistake of putting the Zambians aside, I will come here and I will shout at Queen Pumi. I will come here and I will shout at President Pumi. That one because you know, if I ever become president of Zambia, my priority is Zambians. Zambians first. Because I've lived in a foreign land for 25 years. And I'm always second or third in line. So when we are speaking here, we are speaking from experience because first. You see, our, our person there, I think, is a journalist is saying, we cannot speak because they are following even our businesses. Um, yes, it's very sad. It's very sad, yes. They are following people, they are following and um, harassing people who doesn't want to help the government, they are being harassed. I have to acknowledge here and repeat publicly, we were against these things. Uh, our, our friends here who can listen to us, we were against, and I'm going to be against, up to, even now, with no shame, no offensive words. I don't offend any person. I don't say insult, but I speak the truth. We are going to speak. Why do we speak? One is going to ask a question, but why do we speak? First of all, why do we speak? Gentlemen, I am going to say that I'm one of the people who are so fortunate because um, my parents and God especially has allowed that I have an exposure to the outside world. Now, the fact that I have had an exposure to the outside world, 
I said, I'm not going to keep quiet. I'm going to contribute to the development of the country. I'm going to contribute to the development of the country. Hello, my brother. How are you? Good, thank you. And how are you? Father, how are you this evening? Wonderful. I'm all right. Thank you so much. So, ma ma so uh, hey, Madam President, Madam President, how are you? I'm okay, honorable. But I'm not to join us. So I don't know how to do a TikTok. It's easier for people to join on TikTok. I don't know. Well, uh, your guide, me, I'm just joining because uh, you are already here and uh, people are listening. And uh, just. Uh, yeah, I okay. can see. You are There's enough. a lot of people here. So let's continue. But Z Journalist, do you have another account? If you have another account, try uh, using your other account and request to join. Go ahead, by Oscar, by Father, and then uh, Isaac, you can take over. So what? What I was saying was, uh, we are going to speak, and uh, and uh, and gentlemen, what somebody is going to say? But why do you speak? Why do you keep quiet? Why do, we are going to speak because we have been exposed in this country, in this uh, in Europe, we have been exposed, and we have seen mistakes. We don't want the same mistakes to happen in our country. So when we say, let President Aka and each them guide the 20 million Zambians. Opposition, ruling party, they are all Zambians. You give them the equal opportunity to do business. They talk about the CDF. CDF, it's in the hands of only those who are aligned in the political party, in the ruling party. This is not the way you can govern a country. We want the in and therefore, even Isaac, if Isaac is going to become a president next time, yeah. I will tell Isaac, Isaac, excuse me, rule the country with equity. Isaac. We need, we need we, Zambia needs the economic emancipation, which will, of course, uh, bring the Zambian people on board and participate yes. to build the future of our country by, of course, uh, giving the people of zambia the available opportunities to participate in an economy so that the people of zambia can be the first to participate in the development of our country that's it that is cdf nonsense i'm sorry to use this way that cdf nonsense is not an is not a solution to the future of our country i'm sorry to say this that CDF nonsense is not a, a future and is not a, a, an economic solution to the people of Zambia and to the future of our country. Zambia is blessed to have mineral resources. Zambia is blessed to have a human resource. A human resource is a population that we have as a Zambian people. And through the human resource that we have, which is available, we need, of course, to turn that same human resource and activate it to produce and be part and parcel to change the future of our country and for those that will come after us. Not the nonsense that we are seeing in our country today. We are Zambians. We understand what is good for our people and what is good for the future of our people even what Wakaunda understood about where we are today to get people to have freedom and independence so that they can, of course, have the economic freedom. Not the nonsense that we are seeing today. Mriam Kuimba Mabo, Pantana Elent Naimba Mabo, Mriam Kura Mama Toilet, Pantana Elent Nakura Toilet. What economic, of course, solutions are you bringing? to the future or to, to this uh, country so that people can be part and parcel of national development. We are talking about national development. So let us, let us use what is available. What is it that is available? The human resource. Zambians are alive. They are not all dead. Of course, we can only for. But what do you do? 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 This is the, what the, we should, of course, translate into changing the future or changing the tomorrow so that the, everyone that will come after us can be part and parcel or can participate to change also 
So the narrative of how best they can deliver or how best they can also contribute to the future and the growth of our economy and that of our country and its people. That's it. No tama no sense to fire at CDF. What is CDF naimwe? Nangumubike muka vike nangu muka vike nangu ni hundred million. No ni hundred hundred million Zambian kwacha in CDF. I'm telling you, there is nothing that we are going to get. Economic, of course, uh, solutions begins the where you are coming from, from the community to where you are going as a country. But in line of that, there must be a policy that is uh, supporting everyone to be part and the parcel of national development. Not the nonsense that we are seeing in Zambia. I'm sorry, uh, I'm using the word nonsense, but that is the nonsensical that is happening in Zambia. <laughs> No, no, Madam, Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, we are going to use another word. We will move from sensical, we say, less intelligent. <laughs> uh, I, I am now a president, so I have to watch my language. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm yes. sorry, yes. Madam President, I'm sorry, Madam President, but yes, it's it's true. True. we have seen the Zambian people, of course, in 2021, they decided the future to say they thought, or they, of course, they thought that Ukuba Leta wa Kainde Ichirema, Kueva Tvese Waiva President Vacharu, if in Fiara Chinja. But wa Kainde Ichirema, Menshto Vaish Namkui Kata, Hafe Nimo. Vaya Leta, Tax for Sia Vaka Pokola Yabo, Vaya Leta Siandenge, as a center man in the, of course, uh, a security system, who's now operating and he has, of course, infiltrated by bringing other men in the uh, police system, to which is not even helping the future of our nation. There is no way that you cannot give people space to speak. Let the people, they can never end up and to end up our president. You know, I was, I was taking a walk this evening because uh, it rained in the afternoon. So the, the temperature was beautiful, very cool and wonderful temperature. So what was interesting is this, and I think this is, a, I've sent a, a clip, a video to, the Zambi, to my friends in Zambia also to look at it. It, what touched me was this. The evening, the, country, the town was so, so silent. So silent. There were no police. No police on the, on the, on the streets. On the streets, yes. Yeah. The question was, what was there? What was there? The cameras. Only the cameras. The streets is full of cameras. Capturing the, which capture your movements. So if yes. President Queen Pumi still in the central town, they just go and consult the camera and they go and arrest Queen Pumi. No. So oh. it, it was beautiful. Sir, sir, sir. Was beautiful. Our father, 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 yeah. father, listen. Yeah. Coming back to Zambia. Just recently, the Minister of uh, Home Affairs and uh, Security Internal Security. He was, of course, bragging, and he went to launch where they launched to say Zambia or in the city of Lusaka today. They have a system where even in Nangumle Shamoto Kaparod, they can capture you and they can, of, of course, uh, identify you if there's any crime or if there's any accident or if there's anything that they need to understand or get to the bottom of uh, any issue or any situation that requires uh, uh, an interest of uh, which is the security interest they've got that they failed to do that on jj they, they failed to do that on jj and jack mwimbu honorable jack mwimbu he has been on so many of course interviews to give he, us as citizens, I never let pay uh, as government position from him. He has never touched on that as he could be how best they have uh, utilized that uh, system which they have, uh, of course, established and which is working even today. If we can go 
go back and check in the, the system which they installed to say to kara checking abantu ngabarenda ngabare chefi nangubuchiko nangutatuliko bakapokola but we have the said could be amen to yambya lero lesha of all abantu bare karamchalo to improve the security system they failed to do on jj the only thing that we have today is about the escape of JJ. We don't care about that because what we care is the, the future of our country and not the nonsense which the government they kept JJ without, of course, bringing the culprits to book. But they wanted to divert the attention of the people of Zambia away from what had happened or what was supposed to be done by them to get to the bottom of the abduction of JJ and get the culprits and bring them to... So I think the, po the point, the point which, which, which touched me this evening was the, the thing of, of giving credit to technology. Giving credit to technology. You can imagine my dear sister and my brother on those uh, uh, toll gates. On toll gates, there are cameras. You don't need police with guns you just need the camera it's a question of culture it's a question of culture if they are serious they will trace the vehicle they will trace my my face they will follow me if i have an identity in the country unless there are zambians who don't have a national identity but if i have an identity they know where i stay with the national registration card, the national identity card, that can be done. If it has not been done, why not spending a lot of investment in this security so that the police, all those thousands of police on the roads, they can be moved away from the roads and the police now can go for security purposes in the night to guide in the night they can go at their homes and stay with their families and and, and, the, and engage themselves in other activities but it works a camera works it works if you want it to work it does work so if, do we have that intention? I don't know. I don't know. This is very crazy. I saw it some time back, maybe or so they were saying, well, we have uh, CT, what do you call it? CTV, CCTV, yeah. CCTV, uh, whatever you call them. CT, 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 CCTV cameras. CCTV. <laughs> there is nothing there. There is nothing there. You see. A lot of money invested in those you, you CCTV. See, you, see, you see the way things are working in Zambia today. All operating, of course, our operative system of governance or could be of uh, our government today have been infiltrated by UPND cadres who are not, of course, are promoting the national agenda, but they are promoting the UPND agenda of Mr. Kainde Ichidema. This is the fact. You look at uh, when you talk of uh, the judiciary, Today, there have been so many, of course, uh, things which have been uh, of contentious, and uh, we expect the voice from uh, not only the voice, but it could be uh, an outcome that will guide us as a people with an independent view or an independent uh, <clears throat> understanding from uh, the judiciary. There has been nothing. The chief justice is just sitting there to get his allowance or to get his salary and to get whatever that is getting there. Without, of course, uh, looking at the uh, future of our country and the future of the judiciary in uh, respect with the rule of law and in respect with our constitution of Zambia. So we have men and women in uh, our seat in our, of course, uh, government settings of our our could be institution of governance you talk of the national assembly the national assembly today me i would describe i would i'm going to describe it as a a joke of a house that where men and women meet to just go there and be told what to do of where by the known by the national assembly you are you and i all of us you have sat of course uh, uh before uh in front of a blackboard where you have a teacher and you have a class monitor 
and uh, a class monitor could be that he katuishi ngani udia ti mawere katuishi ngani nani udia ui karamudia ti nani udia Boy. namula ba udia deputy speaker uwe da chairman <laughs> ewa wakati ni class monitor and then whatever speaker besa penomba nga baisa nga walanda nga walanda chintu chakoba it is very important and it will need an area it's a, a response from could be a minister or a vice president should block it and it will yeah. of course there and then and uh, give a guidance and not only a guidance but she will even respond and uh, give a open by block answer you are not going to progress mm. that is uh, the nonsense that we have brought in our zambia's uh, of course uh, governance system today so the judiciary is gone the legislature is gone the executive of course is doing what he's doing including those boys whoever that are in state house or whoever that are in uh, that office they are doing today to stop the future of our country by promoting the agenda of the upnd upnd is just a political party let me tell you upnd is just a political party zambia has got a people and zambia has got a people like myself and you and including you madam president where you are seated we are a people of zambia to afiara kuma fiashu who are zambians these people have fought for this country to where we are today and where we are we are we are seeing we are going to see our country tomorrow it's not about mr kainde ichirema no we respect him with our president and he, wherever wherever we go we raise our flag high to say we have a president in zambia but if our president is running away from the zambian of course a kind of leadership or the way how we ourselves we carry ourselves and we of course believe as our the zambian way of doing things where we have a president today who don't have a presidential language can go and insult and can go and say an an palatable language to the public instead of him be the first one and allah but what more than why me then we don't know what kind of zambia but that we are talking about why today. You? and why should we arrest why me if him yes. we can insult yeah exactly and you know the clergy why is the church quiet yeah why is no why is all those all, all the churches Ama churches won't say they can't speak next day they are going to arrest them the police was the andenge body forming whatever crack squad and they are hunting on everyone hmm? these guys are not joking if you think these guys are joking then i don't know what you are talking about but what i can tell you is that they are very few Zambia is con consists of more than 20 million citizens. Sharandesa na ufuna randa ni fine. My name is Isaac Mlizuma Njovu. Nga mlefu wa mairo mkese mfuwa ya mkansa. Nge mkanka. 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 You know what? Ima mfile mwai. You are intimidating me. You are intimidating me. My father was a freedom fighter. I'm a son of a freedom fighter. And I will continue. Exactly. My father is late. I will continue to fight for my people yes. and I will continue yes. speaking for my Zambian people. I will continue standing up for my Zambian I people. Want if you want, you can kill me even today. I will shout however and however stand with the Zambian people. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant evening. Thank you, Madam President, and thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Aluta continue. Zambia shall be saved. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much, my oh, sister. First thing, it's been a wonderful evening. Really good conversation. Yeah. 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 No, thank you very much. I think it's an appeal. An appeal. Can I just make an appeal? Is uh, let the people speak. Allow the people to speak for the better for the betterment of this country. Allow the diverge, divergency opinion of the people. We are all different. 20 million Zambians, 20 million different DNA, a DNA. 20 million different DNA. We will never be the same. The beauty of the country is to listen to my divergency opinion 
Akono wala landa chame nsofo Yala mwana kuyi no kuchila menso ya viti Amenso ya viti ya mwana fiku ntanji Amenso fo Yala mwana la kuno ma Kumbisi Eto na kuntanji Today is today Ama timu ya isalero Ama timu Ama timu ya kalamba Ama timu ya kalamba Welcome Kane Mwa bombe ni mkwai Mwai 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 Ah this evening I just came in and emphasize on one thing Ah this fight that we are about to go in to fight Requires only one document and that's a voter's card So madam chair let me emphasize on that let the people go and get a voter's card. Because uh, as we've seen, we've talked, we've done everything, and things is, is not, it's not, there is no change actually. It's, and it's a pity that we are going to keep on talking. The change is negative. So what you have to encourage our people is to go and get the voters cards. Advise them to go and vote in a big number so that we deal with this issue in a ballot. Thank you very much and have a pleasant evening. Thank you very much, brother. All the best. Thank you for that message. So have you have you a, 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 a voters card? Do you have a voters card? My, you are I have a voter's card. I have a voter's card, and, and this is a job that I'm doing every day. I'm encouraging each and everyone I see. Uh, there's a bad tendency here on the Copper Belt. Uh, we don't even want to talk about this issue in uh, on this uh, platform. But what we are, we are trying to do every day, we are encouraging every person to go and get a voter's card. If they say they want a police report, we even encourage them with the 550 quarter for a police report, they go and get the voter's card. Mm -hmm. Have to go. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you, Tato. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right. That's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.